Is it safe to allow remote access? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been answering questions like this one since 2003. Let's get right to the question. Is it safe to allow remote access to a tech support person from a reputable firm to solve a problem? I recently had an issue that required me to contact such a company and permitted the tech to view my desktop. The problem was solved, but I couldn't help thinking that this was a bad idea. Can they browse around inside your machine if you give them this kind of access? So my bottom line for this one is how much do you trust them? No, really, how much do you trust them? This is serious. This is entirely a matter of trust. So the key word in your question is reputable. I would only allow this to happen from a support company that you actually well and truly trust. The answer to your question is, could they do things? Could they browse around? They could do worse. They could uh, potentially, even without your noticing, do things like install malware or uh, you know, steal your files or do whatever. I mean, all they really need to do is install the malware to give them a back door that stays open after your session is over. Um, that kind of stuff is absolutely possible. And while sometimes there are clues to what they're doing as they're doing it, they're not the kind of clues that I would necessarily expect everybody to be comfortable understanding and potentially even challenging this uh, support assistant. So the thing is, then it all comes back to trust. Now, one of the ways to measure this, your level of trust is, would you let this person access your machine physically. In other words, they're doing it remotely as a convenience. Clearly, if they were able to walk up to your machine and access it there, well, they would have all the access that they wanted again. So if you trust them enough to have physical access to your machine, either by coming to your home or by your taking the machine into a shop, then that's probably someone that I would at least place that same kind of trust in when it comes to remote access. On the other hand, if they're not the kind of people you would want in your home, if they're not the kind of people you want to take your machine to, then absolutely not. I would not allow them remote access. The risk is very high. And of course, we know this because remote access is a tool used by scammers and spammers all the time. The so-called remote access support scam is a real thing. This is when somebody calls you, claims that your computer is causing problems on the internet, and then offers to fix them for you. Maybe for a fee, maybe for free, but the bottom line is, what do they need? They need remote access to your machine to do it. And while they have remote access, they can do anything. And they often do. And it's often not what you were expecting them to do or anything you would want them to do. So if there's one lesson to take away from this, it would absolutely be never allow remote access to someone who called you. You don't know who they are. You don't know that they're telling the truth when they claim to be who they claim to be. Only allow remote access to people you've contacted and people that you trust completely. It's very appealing, especially these days, but just don't let that appeal lead you into trouble. Now, there is a related setting in Windows that I wanted you to take a look at. Let's have a look here. We're looking at Windows 10 Pro. And one of the issues is that there is a setting for remote desktop, allow remote connections to this computer. Now, this setting, for some reason, is in the For Developers section of the Settings app. If you take a look down here at Remote Desktop, change settings to allow remote connections to this computer. What we're going to do is actually click on Show Settings, and that will bring you to the old style of interface that has the settings we've become used to. Allow remote assistance connections to this computer. You can, if you like, turn that off. However, that does not prevent remote access connections to this computer. Remote assistance 
is specifically a feature in Windows that allows you to request help from someone else. It actually only is something you can initiate. It's not something that um, you can respond to. And if somebody you don't know asks you to start down this path, all you really need to do is say, no, I'm not going to do that. The setting that I'm most concerned about, though, is this remote desktop setting. It says, don't allow remote connections to this computer. This applies only to the remote desktop protocol used by Microsoft. In other words, it doesn't actually prevent remote access to your machine. The scams we keep hearing about actually have you download a different remote access client, usually from LogMeIn or TeamViewer or Remote PC or any of another of uh, several different remote access solutions. So I don't want you to think that because you have this turned off, you're safe. You still need to explicitly not allow someone to call you and have you download a client. If you contact someone and they are someone you trust and they ask you to download a remote access client, which is very likely, that's okay. It all comes back to trust. If you trust them, great. If they contacted you and you've never heard of them before, don't believe them. I hope that's helpful. For links related to this article, for any updates, for comments and more, visit askleo.com 3767. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.